All right, we basically got a tied game going on. The Paladin and the Rogue are both level two. They've each completed a quest, and they are each in the process of approaching completion of their second quest. The third quest is a global quest, which they will both be rushing after. So here we go. We're going to reset the Paladin's speed to three. If you remember, the Paladin was forced out of his space into the grim intersection, and he needs to crawl out of the pit. And to crawl out of the pit, that costs a movement point. And now what we're trying to do is to get this magician to the library. So we need to get that magician to the library. And the library is way over there. So let's see, I don't know if the uh, if the paladin has anything. Well, he's got a minor teleport. What does that do? You may relocate your hero to any space up to three spaces away from your current location. Ignore doors and walls. Uh, that might help. Uh, it's a teleport, correct? Okay. It's going to cost two glory to use this. So maybe on his hero phase, uh, we will do that. I jumped ahead of myself and started into the hero phase. The first thing we need to do for the Paladin is actually take care of his Dungeon Lord phase. And I don't think we have... Yeah, we do. We've got some Dungeon Lord cards here. What can we do? What can we do? The Rogue only has two. Maybe we can send this Demon Adder after the Rogue. Why don't we do that? <clears throat> Alright, that's going to cost two peril. That's going to spend all of the Rogue's peril. And he's being attacked by this Demon Adder who is attacking with magic or demonic coils. Three to the attack roll. That is going to total six. We rolled a three. Three plus three is six. Magic defense. The rogue normally has a magic defense now of one, but thanks to the, the brain in the jar, it's two. So we're going to add two to the die roll. Four, five, six. It is a tie. So no damage is taken. They fight to a standstill. Okay, that's going to go back into the pack. And I believe that up to three monsters can stay in the pack. So there we have it. Very good. That will end the Dungeon Lord phase. It's now time to go to the Build phase. And this is our last card. It's the Crypt. Let's see, where is a legal place we can put the crypt. Let's uh, let's put it over here. All right, now we're into the hero phase. We've already stood our paladin up and spent a point of movement for that. Now we can take a look at this uh, teleport card. That's going to cost two glory. So let's take it down from four to two. And he can teleport up to three spaces away. Um, one, two, three. We're back at the entrance. And we generate glory and peril. So one and one for entering that space. And that card is discarded. All right, we have two points of movement left. What shall we do? Uh, spell focus. 
that might help us. Why don't we play this card for two glory? That's going to take us down to one. And spell focus will give us an extra bonus to our uh, magic attacks. So that might help us out. All right, still got a couple of movement left. Let's see if we can get over there to the library and drop off the old magician. Okay, one step, that's a clear step. Nothing to worry about there except generating three peril and two glory. So seven and three. And now we have to make a decision which way to go. We actually cannot go that way because it's blocked. So we've got to go through the mirror chamber. And that's kind of stinky. Because we're going to have to fight a reflection of ourselves. But that's what we've got to do. We take the step. Three peril. Taking us to ten. And four glory, which is nice. But that, that uses all of our movement. And now we have to do combat with an evil reflection of ourselves. It says that any time you enter this space, a replica attacks you. It has your total attack stats and attacks with your highest score. It has uh, one life and inflicts one wound if it uh, hits you. So, that's going to be a melee attack. Two, three, four. Alright, it attacks me, adding four to the attack dice. So that's going to be six, my attack. Oh, I am hit. My evil reflection damages me and takes me down to four and I gain another point of peril taking me to 11. That will end my hero phase. I'm now to the discard the discard and draw. Let's let's discard this plane shifted. I don't know. We've got enough monsters. This might be good to prevent him from getting quest done. All right, let's let's discard the the uh, the creature here, and we draw four cards: one, two, three, four. Okay. Got a ring of magic. What does that do? When played, place one token on this card. At any time, you may remove one token to prevent one wound. Okay, that's neat. And we've got a ghoul and forgotten. Okay. That brings us up to five, and that will end the paladin's turn.